In anticipation of Marianne Day's 60th birthday, we did a little research. What we thought we knew about her was mostly accurate. Then we quickly realized there was more. This woman from humble beginnings in small town Cape Breton is deeper than a coal mine. Although she appears to have a very modest circle of experiences and friends, she actually has a deep connection with many musicians around the world. Her enormous guitar talent has rarely been shared with her local friends, yet her sphere of influence has reached all points of the globe, and her deep friendships with famous people have been hidden from her Halifax community. Until now. Tonight you'll see secret footage and we'll hear from many famous people who know Marianne well. We'll find out more about the secret life of Marianne Day. We start in the 70s and Marianne's friendship with Stevie Nicks. We ask Stevie, what was the secret to their fun? We didn't, we didn't spare any time or money to do exactly what we wanted to do. In the time Marianne spent with Janice Ian, it wasn't just music they had in common. It was also their hair. When I asked about that, Janice Ian describes the advantages of living with those wavy locks. It exposes you to a lot more types of people than you would see otherwise. And you become much more cosmopolitan. Perhaps one of Marianne's biggest secrets was her tryst with Annie Lennox in the 80s. Although Marianne left Lennox for several other women, they remained friends, and Lennox still describes her fondly. Quite exceptional, actually. Quite except driven. Someone who thinks outside the box, perhaps. Someone who is not as conventional in their thinking and their behavior necessarily as most people, they kind of see things from different perspectives. Yeah, so it's an individual with an individual sensibility. Her love affair with Natalie Merchant wasn't quite as smooth, and for this documentary, Merchant would share little. It was obvious that she was still affected by what went on between them. She describes their time together. I didn't really know what to do with all that emotion. And when asked if she considered coming to the party, listen to her reply. Not at all. Katie Lang also had a brief encounter with Marianne. It didn't last long and they also remained friends. KD describes their relationship. Like it's all this work and no money and it's, yeah. it's hard. She describes the end of the relationship. It was the most uh, emancipating feeling. It was completely liberating and I recommend it for those who are ready. Before the advent of social media, there were only so many ways to meet a partner. Here, Bonnie Raitt describes how she first met Marianne. And I asked, I, in my college paper, I advertised in the want ads for anybody that knew how to blow. Marianne met Nora Jones during her skinny dipping phase. Jones describes here how that felt for her. You gotta slow this thing down, you know, I'm dying here. <laughs> I just, I was really just afraid of being overexposed and overdoing it. But will she come to this party? I feel like I've had my cake and I've eaten it. If we hadn't created this documentary, we believe that some of these relationships would never have become public. Here's what Trisha Yearwood says about whether she did or did not spend time with Marianne. If I, I don't know, I might lie about it. It just depends. I might just pretend it didn't happen. But would she do it again? I would do it for a french fry. And of all the people we interviewed, it appears that the one who knew her best is Adele. We asked her to use four words to describe Marianne. Drunk, chaotic, stressed, very, very sad. And then to elaborate further. A middle-aged woman drink too much, pass out, then piss herself while she got carried out. <laughs> and to give her fashion advice. Um, just keep on doing what you're doing. Comfort over style. And relationship advice. Well, the best advice I ever got was um, to keep your heart safe and your music dangerous. And a prediction for the future. That your love life's gonna get a lot worse. And her perspective on Mary Ann's birthday month. Does anything ever really end? And if you see Does anything ever really end? Does anything ever really end? Does anything ever really end?
reflection in the snow-covered hills. Well, a landslide will bring you 